And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Flyers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Lee's got it along the wing. Forces the turnover. And it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, oh he's in a great spot to score, but he misses the net over top. Answered the call on that play. And he slides it quickly to Paco. Couldn't complete the play. Bears got it into offensive territory. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Flyers take it along the wall. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Don. Can't connect. And he takes a shot. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. Connors won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he gets in the lane to block that. Feeds the puck across to Felix. Inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Florida's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Now you get your big boys on the ice, the guys that are supposed to score for you. They'll have a chance on their first power play. The Flyers gain possession of the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. The Panthers have it behind the net. Florida's on the attack. Takes the feed. Too much congestion. Blocks the shot. Gets it out of his own end. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed from the wing. Smart defensive play there. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The Panthers win possession here in the open ice. Manages to hang on. Here's a chance, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick feed to Zimmer. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Crispin's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Dumps it in. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Scrum ensues along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Preventing any sort of opportunity to set up with the extra attacker. And the official sending him off to the box for holding for two. Yeah, it's going to cost him a couple of minutes there, James. I, I don't think that's really that difficult to call. Nope, pretty cut and dry here. The Panthers have a brief five-on-three looming. Puck retrieval is always a key on a power play, in particular a short five-on-three. You don't want to lose a puck battle and have the five-on-three portion of your power play go away. And a successful clearing attempt. Quick feed to Felix. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Domi and manages to clear the zone. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Lowe. Slides it across. He scores on the power play. Taking advantage of the extra man, move the puck well and get on the board. Now, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it.
The Panthers take the comfortable position of playing with the lead here, Ray. In the middle chunk of the period, you're looking for momentum to go one way or the other. They've got it now. Grabs the puck at center. Pumps it away in his own end. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Six minutes, 11 seconds. Still lots of time left in the period. The Panthers lead it 1-0. Florida's won the draw. Puck picked up in the open ice. The Panthers take it along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Franco. Makes the save. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Lee. Picked up along the wall by Lewis. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. And now it's over to Felix. Takes it and looks ahead. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Florida's got it now. Strong defensive effort. From the point, looks to make something happen. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Chrisman's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Past the midway mark in this period, 1-0 the score. The Panthers win it. Here's a chance right in the slot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Here's an offensive chance. Excellent stick work on the play. Picked up along the boards by Lewis. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Through center. Tries to get the puck to Connor. Great defensive effort with the stick. Scoops up the puck here. The Panthers will play it in their own end. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. To his teammate. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Man, the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. The Panthers have extended the lead to two, and they can see the light at the end of the tunnel for the second period. They would love to get it into the intermission just like it is. They've done a really good job tonight. By number 91, assisted by number 88. Takes a shot. Club save, and an easy one at that. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And that pass goes awry. And that one's blocked. The Flyers have it against the wall. Great poise here as he gets it back. Big play inside the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Skates to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Chrisman's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Panthers have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. Grabbed along the board by Butcher. Pumps it away to stay on the attack. The Flyers will play it from the defensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Almost lost the puck but hangs on here as play continues. Wild Wings taking it from his own end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And he regains control of the puck. Florida's gained possession along the boards. The Flyers have it now. Quick pass to King. With possession along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Maintains possession. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Grabs it in his own end. And we've got a two on one. And now it's grabbed. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. 
Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Florida's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Lowe's won it. Puck grab by Eller. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Sends a pass over. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Goalie makes a save. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Florida's got the lead here late in this first period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Well, a very one-sided first period finally comes to an end. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway a one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes here we go for period number two one period already in the books ray how have you seen this thing the flyers are going to wear themselves out if they don't get control of the puck pretty soon they've had no possession time virtually at all and they're trailing in this game the panthers are going to serve two for tripping here pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. Here's a first look at the power play. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first. So we'll look at the faceoff, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. Directed over to Butcher. Moves into the slot. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. And the puck leaves the zone. Philadelphia's got it from behind the net. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Panthers will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Sends it across. And he denied that opportunity. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Flyers gain control of it. Takes the feed. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Stays with it. Here he is, shot right in front, and that's blocked. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They clear the zone. The Flyers will play the puck from behind the net. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Good vision to see the long pass. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Florida's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance. How did he stop that one? Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Winnick's got the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the puck at the point. Denies him on the play. Stone's had a good seat for most of this offensive explosion. They're winning by a pile, and he hasn't had much to do. The Panthers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Florida's got it along the wall. From the slot, wrist shot, score! This is unbelievable! 
It's turning into a lot for four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Panthers have been the busier team offensively tonight. They've dominated in their own end, haven't given up anything, and scored almost at will at the other. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. By number 15, time of the goal, 6 minutes, 24 seconds. He's got a little jump! All alone! What a stop on the breakaway! Big stop by the keeper. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Chrisman's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Panthers have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Simmers won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Tyler. And that goes off a player in front. Slides it across to Harris. Lets it fly, and he comes up with it. Winnick's one of their only hopes to get back in the game. Their deficit is so large, they're going to need a lot to go right. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. The Panthers carry it along the wall. From the back of the cage with the puck. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Cuts into the paint. Grabs the puck. Quick pass to Phillips. The Panthers have it behind the net. And that one's broken up. Pushes it across to Connor. Moves it to Tommy Hawk. And it's turned aside by Stone. More than half the period has expired. The Panthers lead it 4 0. They have dominated. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Receives the pass, and a poke check knocks the puck away. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. The Panthers have the puck in the corner. They fight for it along the boards, and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Florida's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Keeps hold of the puck. Couldn't complete the play. Played big in the moment there. The Panthers continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Kings won the draw. Quick shot, and he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. Knocks the puck loose. They've got numbers. Jabs the puck away. Florida's looking to break out. Slides the puck over. Slides it back to the blue line. Wide of the net. Taken along the wall by Butcher. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here he is from the slot. Scores! All over the rebound. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. <laughs> the 
The Flyers needed that one as they get back to center ice. They need a lot more than that. It's really been a poor performance by them so far. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Now a quick pass to Hendry. There's a shot, and he makes the save. Gets it over to Wester. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Passes it over to Hendry. Skates across the blue line. Philadelphia's got the puck in the defensive end. Schwartz setting up against the wall. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Handles the pass from the right wing. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Schwartz. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online store. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. Here we go, a big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Takes control of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Tyler. And he slides it quickly to Bear. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Goes right to the crease. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. And it's a quick pass to Paco. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Tries to get it to Bear. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes a shot with the stop. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Manages to hang on. Slides the puck across to Harris. Great poke check on the reach with the steal. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Passes on over to Lowe. Here they are on the attack. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And he slides it quickly to Gunnarsson. Nice poke check. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Wrist one. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in a scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. The Panthers played along the boards. Here's a shot. Flies over the net. I think he's trying to be too perfect. Get it on goal. Oh, he's going to be feeling the regret on that one, though, yeah, right? you don't get many chances, and this one's not even a scoring chance because he doesn't hit the net. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Chrisman's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. The Panthers' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Lowe's won it in their own end. Florida's got it in their own zone. Philadelphia's got the puck along the boards. The Flyers ready to go on the attack. And that one's stopped. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Florida's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Taken by Butcher. Takes a shot. Overshot it. Sometimes the only place you have is up over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Good check. Freeze the puck up. And now he moves it to Domi. 
The Flyers played along the wing. Quick feed to Butcher. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Battle along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Centering pass, and that one's blocked. Domi's got the puck in his own zone. The Flyers go to work on offense. Right in the low slot. He was locked in there. Stone's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Past the halfway mark of this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. There's the whistle stopping the play. The Panthers have been called for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Puck clears the zone. The Flyers look to start the transition game. Takes it at center. Puck picked up by Schwartz. His reflexes on display tonight. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck slid down the ice. Setting up behind his own net now. And he slides it quickly to Tommy Hawk. Along the half wall with the puck. And they can't convert to the play. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Philadelphia is ready to go on the attack. Puck scooped up by Schwartz. Here he is, wrists it on net. He scores! Put the special in specialty. Now the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They moved the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. Philadelphia's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. The Panthers win it. Takes the pass. Pokes it away in his own end. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Philadelphia's got it against the boards. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Florida's got it along the wall. Bears taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. We got a minor penalty coming up here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. The Panthers send their man advantage unit out once more. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. And the puck banks off the glove. Pinned up along the boards. Tyler's going to play it to the corner. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. On the attack along the boards. Here he is in front. He scores! What a counter punch shorthanded! Teams are talking more and more about being aggressive when they're down a man. This is the result. Every once in a while, you're going to punch one through shorthanded. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot.
Philadelphia's got one back here, yes. Ray. How big is that? Well, it does a lot, James. It changes your mindset. It changes the way you approach this. And you don't have to be reckless trying to get just one goal. Domi's moving the puck through his own zone. They get it out of the defensive end. The Panthers will play the puck from the back of the net. With the steal. Sends the pass over. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Battling for it along the boards. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. The Panthers have it in the offensive end. Gives them nothing in front. King swooping in on the attack. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. Couldn't make that one happen. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Uh, nothing too smooth about that play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Flyers have answered back in these last few minutes but still need one more to even the score. Fowlers won the draw here in the offensive zone. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. Florida's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Panthers win the draw. Takes a shot. Nothing doing. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And now he angles it across to Gunnarsson. Here's a chance. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. And he was right there. They can't connect. Tyler's stick handling in his own zone. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. And there's the save. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. And now he moves it quickly to Tommy Hawk. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Up along the wing. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Last bit of the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big save. Crispin's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Under a minute to go in the third. And he says no! Crispin's gonna hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Florida's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Philadelphia's moving it up the ice. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it off Mark. A little bit too perfect with the delivery as he shoots it wide of the goal. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. Late goings of this period. The Panthers lead it 4-3. And now it's grabbed by Lewis. Tries to feed it across. Up the neutral zone now. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Don's got it in the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. Wide open net. Log jam in front. That's broken up. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a chance. A two-on-one. Centered out in front. Fantastic save. Stone's able to get out and make the save on that great A chance. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Well, it was a tight one tonight, despite the fact that they had no shortage of offense out there. No, they kept pumping the puck at the goaltender to no result. Eventually, though, they end up with the win. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.
Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to Las Vegas. I can't even begin to describe what the environment here is tonight in Sin City. It's amazing what they've done here, Ray. If you've ever been to Vegas, it's like they took whatever's outside and they brought it in the building. It's fun. It's loud. Nobody comes here and is not entertained. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Red Wings take possession here on the opening draw. And we Connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Vegas looks to attack. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Nash. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Nash. Denies him in front. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with the stop. Nice job tying up his opponent. Vegas plays it up ahead. Great balance as he scoops it back up. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Davids picking up momentum through center. The Golden Knights take it across the blue line. Snapper from the slot. Glove save and he handles it with ease. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Moves the puck. Vegas has it in their own zone. Hangs onto the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Stopped by the goaltender. That's it! She scores! When coaches talk about being on the perimeter, they want players to get in here. You've got to get close to the net to grab rebounds to have a second chance. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Red Wings have set the tone for this one with an early strike. You want to start quickly, of course, but they do a terrific job in the first quarter of the period to get a 1-0 lead. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Maintains possession. And the puck banks off the glove. Dead center. Excellent save. Harper's lugging the puck. O'Brien's got it along the wing. Erkgars has it along the boards. Takes the feed from the left side. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Here he is in front. Turns it away. High quality chance, high quality save. He grabs the puck here at the point. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Denies that opportunity. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. Vegas steps inside. Puts the puck on net and makes the save. Puck grabbed by Erickson. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Centering pass! A chance right in front! Denies him in close. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Bays can take a look up at the big scoreboard. 
and know that that save was a great one. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Detroit's ahead, 1-0. Cheeks won the faceoff. Vegas with possession in their own zone. Cheeks caught up with the hook, and the official saw it. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Red Wings have been handed two minutes for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And a nice job by the killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Steps across the blue line. Moves right to the middle. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. They score! Good effort onto the puck to get into the zone clean and then set it up and are able to cash in. Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Scored on the power play. The Red Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Stays with it. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Black. Nice defensive robbery on that. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Came up with the save on that play. Michael's right on top of that chance. Great A spot, great A save. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes a shot, puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net though, you got a better chance to score. Gives it right back. Taken by Akers. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Great defensive effort with the stick. Vegas will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Centered out in front, and that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. And the puck's kicked free. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Black's getting two for holding. I didn't think this was bad live game. You look at it on a highlight, and you can see that it's a holding penalty for her. The Golden Knights once again send out their power play unit. If your power play is successful, you can really take the wind out of the other guys. You've been successful all right with the man advantage. See if you can get another one. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence hooking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. A little four-on-four four coming up here. I love how four-on-four four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. Battle along the boards. Vegas moves it quickly along the wing. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Here in the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. O'Brien's one possession. Detroit's got the puck against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Black. Can't find his man. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The setters will glide into the dot. 
The Golden Knights win possession here in the open ice. Strong defensive effort. The Red Wings' power play expires. They now go to work for a short period on the power play. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it to Harper. That pass goes a little sideways. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Picked up along the boards by Harper. XD's got it now deep inside his own end. Harper's exploring options with the puck. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. The Golden Knights are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Detroit's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. The Red Wings win the faceoff. And that sails over the net. Vegas gets the puck near the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front, you can dictate the pace of the game. The goalie's not going to catch this. The pass from behind the net's on the tape. One-timed into the cage before he can really get turned around. The Red Wings have jumped out to the early lead just the way any coach would want to see. Well, now that you're out in front, you want to push the game. Make the opponent have to scramble around the ice. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Detroit's on the attack. A chance, and that one's turned away. Both teams strike offensively as period number one comes to an end. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Michael's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Grabbed along the boards by Linden. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to Fleury. Strong defensive effort. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Picked up along the wall by Fleury. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. With possession along the wall. And that's picked off in front. Wallstone's taking it from his own end. Vegas takes possession along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Golden Knights take it along the wall. And that's turned aside with a glove. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's 2-1. Steps in and takes the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Into the offensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. 
Quick feed to Black. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Vegas has it near the wall. The Golden Knights have it now. Here's a short pass to Devil. The Golden Knights carry it along the wall. Here's a shot stopped by the goaltender. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Vegas has possession of it now. Detroit's got the puck behind the net. Looking for space inside the D zone. Fails to find the open man. And it's a quick pass to Harper. Look out, a two-on-one. Vegas looks to break out in their own end. And now it's to Cronwall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Akers. Into the attacking area from the left side. Can't maintain possession. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Nice pass. Vegas plays it along the wing. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Cronwall. Slides the puck to Hall. Detroit's across the blue line. Sends it over with the stop. Looks to pass it to Trucker. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Slides it over to Stinger. Takes a shot, nothing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Takes the puck at the point. And now it's grabbed by Trucker. Gains the zone through center. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Vegas plays it against the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. Right in front with the shot. Blocked in traffic. Through center along the wing. Takes the pass from the left wing. Stopped by the goaltender. Loose puck battle along the boards. Vegas has it in the defensive end. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Puck's in and deep and they'll make a change. The Red Wings have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. They've got numbers, it's a two on one. Here's a chance, comes up with a stop. able to make the save as we see here this is a good scoring chance but he's in good position the red wings have been the more active squad and they continue to lead late in the second period and with the two centers tangled up the winger skates away with it rocks him into the boards detroit's got a hold of it against the wall and makes the routine save the golden knights play it along the boards and he regains control of the puck. Moved in front! Big save! Pass right in front! And misses on the tip! Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Detroit's playing it from the side. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 2-1. The Golden Knights take possession off the faceoff, and he can't hang on after that hit. And there's the save. Michael's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Detroit's won the draw and they'll go to work. Right on the doorstep. Knocked away. Puck picked up by Nash. The Red Wings go to work on offense. Handles the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here they come on the attack. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, and, he, and with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You got to look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. 
He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Golden Knights got new life on the bench, you can see, it as they even things up in the late stages of the second. Where I'm standing, it's pretty easy to tell that they've just scored really a lot of excitement. Now the game is tied as we have just a few minutes left in this middle frame. Time of the goal. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Be sure to attend our Auto and Light Truck Show next weekend and get a sneak peek at next year's bottle from the world's top automobile manufacturers. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Vegas has the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Moves it quickly over to Black. The Red Wings play it along the boards. And that's blocked! The Golden Knights look to start the transition game. And he slides it quickly to Linden. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Linden's got the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. From the slot, easily turned away by the goaltender with the glove. Gutierrez plays it along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Shot, and that goes wide! You can go games without a chance from here. Wax it into the offensive zone. Detroit's got it from the back of their own cage. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Rosehill's got it on the offensive end. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Here's a chance! Misses over the net! Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Britt's been nabbed for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's gonna circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. The Red Wings send their man advantage unit out once more. Sometimes it's just your night and the way that they've performed on the power play. It kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And now it's over to Trucker. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Hangs onto the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Stopped by the blocker. Moves it to Harper. And that one's broken up. Great block there. There's another stop. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Black. Right to the middle! From the slot, fires away, made that stop. Michael's gonna cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The centermen glide into position. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Big save by the goaltender. Can't connect. Big save by the goaltender once again. Michael's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake. 
that costs a critical goal. I want to go back to that chance we had just a moment ago. The goalie reads the play well, makes a great save on a really good scoring chance. Good job tangling up his opponent here. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Vegas gains possession shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Slides it up to David. The Golden Knights get the job done shorthanded. We are still tied here. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Smart defensive play there. David's got control of the puck in the corner. That pass doesn't go. Vegas takes possession of the neutral zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Black's got it in the defensive zone. He carries the puck up along the wing. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. Maintains possession. The Red Wings take possession here in the open ice. Takes control of the puck. The Golden Knights gain possession in their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Taken along the wall by Fleury. Delayed penalty looming. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Kozin's off to the box, holding the call. Well, he got his money's worth there. That is a holding penalty. Vegas is ready to go back to work on special teams. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Scrum along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Golden Knights have it behind the net. Slides it diagonally to Britt. Vegas is across the blue line. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Earthgarth plays it now. Quick feed to Cheek. Slides the puck across to Cronwall. Vegas has it against the half wall. Takes it to the front. Detroit's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. And they manage to clear it. Angles it over to Cronwall. Devils got it across the line. Jabs the puck away. Stays with it. Scrum ensues along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Trying to get it out. Cross the blue line, and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. And another stop. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Black stick handling in his own zone. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Pokes the puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Vegas gains control of the puck. The Golden Knights move it in. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nice poke check. The Golden Knights scoop it up along the boards. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Here's the pass. Stick saved by the goaltender. Takes a shot. Wide. In a tie game, you don't get many chances. That was a chance to break it right there. Scooped up along the wall by Harper. Denies him! Oh, I like this, James. They've really cycled the puck well on this ship. Now they can hold it, and you put the pressure on the defenders. Eventually, they pull you down, or you get a great chance. Nice zone entry from the left. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Looking to set up offensively. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Great reflexes, another save. Nice work in there. After the first stop, he's got to find the puck to save the second. Britt's got it in the defensive end. 
It's a two on one. Right in the slot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Puck scooped up by Britt. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. Trying to get back on the attack now. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. 24 seconds to go. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. They go on the attack from the left side. Manages to hang on. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Wow, he's dialed in right now. That is an enormous save at this time of the game. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Move to the middle. Here's a backhand, and he gets a paddle on that one. Still nothing solved as the third period comes to an end. We've got overtime looming. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now is your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. We'll take a quick break. OT next. be a zero overtime set to go overtime has begun Ray I know you love these moments the Golden Knights looking against the half wall can't keep a hold of it after that hit from his own end he picks up the puck great poke check on the reach here's a short pass to David Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Britt. Vegas with possession in their own zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Feeds it down low. And he easily stops that one. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Blaine's got it now deep inside his own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nash. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Made the stop on the play. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Red Wings win it. Back at the point, they set it up. And that goes wide. Uses the force on that hit. Stones him in front. Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. The Golden Knights move to the offensive zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to David. Nothing doing on that. The Golden Knights move it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Devil. Oh, what a stop with the stick. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Wallstone's got it through center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends it over to Akers. Through pass ahead. And now he moves it to Biggs. And they fail to go take to take. And he slides it quickly to Harper. Vegas takes possession along the wall. And it's kicked away. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Golden Knights are on the attack. Moves the puck along the half wall. Maintains possession. Game on a stick, and he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Moves it to Harper. 
Detroit's got him along the wall. Right in the slot for the win. And he comes up with a huge save. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Red Wings gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. To the front. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Misses over the net. The Golden Knights move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Cronwall. Not able to connect. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. And it's kicked away. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Grabbed along the boards by Cronwall. Gains the zone through the middle. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck knocked loose after that hit. And now he tries to get it across to Hall. Detroit's looking to break out. Puck grabbed by Travis. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Keeps hold of the puck. Vegas has it near the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Golden Knights have it from their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Fleury's got it in the offensive zone. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Keeps possession on the play. Chance to win it, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. That opportunity is rejected. Buffy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Vegas will go to work here in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. With possession along the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Nice zone entry from the right side. Out front. And they can't connect. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Plains got it in the defensive zone. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. Taken by Fleury. Pumps the puck away. Gutierrez takes it inside his own end. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Gives them nothing in front. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Baines makes an excellent save on this scoring chance. A critical draw here. Vegas takes possession off the draw. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Made the save on the play. Denies him again. Michael's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. David's won the draw. Poked away. Vegas has it in their own zone. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Just misses. What a chance. Right in the middle. Oh. The Red Wings go to work on offense. Takes a shot. Oh, just wide. I thought he had that one, James. Nash has got it in the corner. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. 41 seconds. The Red Wings have it behind the cage. 36 seconds to the buzzer. Slides it across. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Quick feed to Monopoly. Strong defensive effort. Looking to end it. He scores! Vegas 
looked like they were on their heels, but they deliver big time in overtime. Sometimes you have to reach deep. They were able to do it, and they find the game winner even when it looked like they were scrambling around a little bit. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Boston, a city with almost 400 years of history. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski for EA Sports. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ringside. Ray, how do you see this one playing out tonight? I made a living on the power play. I look at two teams that really can score on the power play. When you get your chance, it may easily come down to who's able to execute it better than the other.
They're just seconds away now from puck drop. The Bruins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Your boy Oven's going to play it against the half wall. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Now a quick pass to your boy Oven. Blocked in traffic. And now it's over to Lee. And he regains control of the puck. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Battling for it along the boards. The Flyers have it behind the cage. Dismiss that chance. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Takes the feed. The Bruins take it along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Harris. Lee's carrying it ahead. Excellent stick work on the play. Hangs onto the puck. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to your boy, Oven. Picks up the puck in his own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Flyers take it along the wall. Throws it in. The Bruins have it against the wall. Outlaw's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. Green's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gustafson's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Fredheim. Shot right in front! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Makes the save. And they can't convert to the play! The setters will glide into the dot. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Whoa! Scores! It's in the back of the net! The goalie's barely in position here. That puck has snapped back so quickly, he can't react to the shot. get on the board first and they now lead one nothing that's good execution from them james after a pretty tight first half of the period now they can play from in front they take possession as he locks them up off the face off big play inside the defensive zone and he's taken down the officials arm signaling for a penalty and let's see what the call is ray it looks like tripping it's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. One just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. The Flyers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. The Flyers have it now. Takes the feed up ahead. Moves it to Schwartz. Philadelphia's on the attack. Pinned up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Schwartz. Butcher's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. The Bruins gain possession of the defensive zone. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Quick 
feed to Butcher. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Couldn't complete the play. Here's a short pass to Tommy Hawk and makes the save. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Cross the blue line and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired, now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Here's a shot and he comes up with it. Outlaw's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Philadelphia's ahead, 1-0. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gish is lugging the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Flyers fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because to show them great, you had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. The Flyers play it along the boards. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And a great save! Black's got the puck in his own zone. The Bruins are in transition. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Boston's got it behind the net. And now he moves it quickly. He scores! Now you gotta keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control it. It hits him and still goes in. Well past the midway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Boston's won the draw. Quick pass to Tyler. Stays with it. Here's a chance. Close save, and he made it look simple. Time of the goal. 12 minutes, 25 seconds. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. The Bruins win the faceoff. Centering pass. Here's a shot. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Philadelphia's got the puck against the boards. From the slot. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. Philadelphia's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he makes the save. by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Your boy Ovens got the puck now here inside Whoa. his own defensive zone. Mayers works the puck in his own zone. Slides it to Gish. Sends a pass over. loose in the neutral zone. Grabs it in his own end. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Takes the feed. Mayers plays it against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Gustafson. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Puck goes out of play and we'll have a faceoff. Your boy Ovens got to know right before he takes this hit that he's going to get run over. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Flyers win possession here in the open ice. Good hit on the play. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. And that one's broken up. One minute left. Through center along the wing. 
Puts it in deep. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Back to the blue line. Can't connect. Slides the puck ahead to Tommy Hawk. Twenty minutes in the books, and a pretty fun twenty minutes at that. Hey fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. If you'd like to learn more or to donate, please visit our team website. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. For period number two, about set to go. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Boston's in a tie game, which is kind of miraculous because they turned the puck over way too much in the first period. Scrum along the boards. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Find some space in the corner. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to your boy Oven. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Receives the pass. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. The Flyers are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Hasn't been much to choose in this tied game tonight, but this is the first opportunity for the top ranked power play to get to work. The Flyers will kill off a few extra seconds now, and the puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Boston's across the blue line. Puts it towards the net. Big time stop there. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Looks to make a play over to Black. Philadelphia's got control of the puck. Boston's ready to go on the attack. And puts it wide of the cage. Man, it tells you how close it can be. If that's two inches to the other side, it's off the post and in. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Kings won it off the faceoff. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Jabs the puck away. Manages to hang on. And here's a shot. And that one stopped. Trying to get back on the attack now. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes, you make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Battle along the boards. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Well, I'm liking the way they're getting after this shift here, James. Really good effort. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Flyers gain control of it. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Shot with the stop. Chrisman's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. More than half the period left to play. 
It's all tied up. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Your boy Evans got the puck now in his own end. Across the line. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. That's off a stick. Wild Wings moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Four out. The game moves along, James. Nothing changes. That puck hits the crossbar and stays out. And now he moves it to Blades. To his teammate. Snaps it onto the net. Close save, and the play continues. Cuts to the paint. On the doorstep, and they can't connect. From the top of the offensive zone here. Slides the pass over to Gustafson. The Bruins played along the wing. From point blank range, and that one's blocked. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. And it's a quick pass to Lee. And he slides it quickly to Harris. A shot, and there's the save. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. From the right side, they gain the zone. The Flyers have it from their own end. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Lee's got it on the offensive end. Can't connect. Black stick handling in his own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Directs it on over to Lee. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Black's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Play is stopped and here's the official call. The Flyers are getting two minutes for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. The Bruins send their man advantage unit out once more. I like this. They got together right before the faceoff and discussed a couple of options. They haven't had a lot of opportunities tonight. Here's a shot. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. The Flyers have it behind the net. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Boston's got it along the wall. And we've got a two-on-one. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a successful clearing attempt. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Boston's moving it into the offensive end. Maintains possession. Denied by the goaltender. And both sides will be shorthanded now as another penalty is coming up, effectively neutralizing that power play. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Each team playing with four men, and that means that you're going to have a defenseman jumping into the play. If they don't get a good chance, you know the other team will. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Philadelphia's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. The Bruins have possession shorthanded. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From the left side, takes it at center. 
Moves it quickly over to Paco. Too much traffic in the lane. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. And a strong effort on that play. Outlaw's taking a look up at the big board on the replay. He'll see his stick save was excellent. That was a good scoring chance. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Steps in and takes the puck. Great defensive effort with the strip. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive oh. zone. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken! Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. Not only did they win the draw cleanly, but they kept everybody away from the shooter. He had plenty of time to tee that up. The Flyers set up back at center, now up by one. A long time coming. You work hard to get yourself into the position to lead. Now you want to start the third period with this lead. And that pass goes awry. Gains the zone from the right side. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Late goings of this period. The Flyers have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And now he angles it across to Paco. Puck scooped up by Dawn. Oh, what a stop! Here's a chance in front. Puck picked up by Taylor. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it to Black. Quick snap! Stopped by the goaltender. Chrisman's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech, you need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Hey fans, don't forget to pick up your heat calendar. They're available in section 144. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Boston's frustration's pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. Quick feed to Kamenev. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Slides the puck over. Winnick swooping in on the attack. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. Keeps possession. Here's a short pass to Lee. Gets in front of it. Here comes the call. The Bruins are being called for tripping. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. Philadelphia's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. I like the way that their plan has been successful and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Boston's on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Gustafson. Snaps one from the slot. Denies him in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. 
Gains the zone through center. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Puck grab by Wester. The Bruins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Flyers gain possession in their own end. Quick pass to Gunnarsson. Philadelphia's got it across the line. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Flyers look to start the transition game. The Bruins have it against the wall. Couldn't find the intended target. Handles the pass from the right side. No one home on that play. Taken by Gustafson. Down the right side and into the zone. The Flyers' man advantage is over. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. They're not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. Great defensive effort with the stick. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Right up the gut, here they go. The Bruins played along the boards. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Costi's got it along the wing. Here's a shot. Oh, and he had the whole corner. As the goalies have gotten better and better, you have to deliver it quick. Sometimes you just miss. Quick feed, and they can't convert to the play. Scoops up the puck here. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Costi's got the puck along the wing. Nice poke check. Hangs on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Costi. Steps in with the block. The Flyers move it ahead. And he regains control of the puck. Moves it to Harris. Here's a chance out front. Can't connect. Outlaw's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Chrisman's not had a whole lot of work this evening, but he makes an excellent save there. This game is not going to spread out. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's 2-1. Puts it out front. Quick feed to Lee. Turns it away. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And now he tries to get it across to Wild Wing. Can't catch up to the pass. Gish is moving it ahead. Takes a shot, denies him on the play. Wild Wing's got it now deep inside his own end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Chrisman's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. If you're gonna make the save as the goalie does here, you've gotta read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Flyers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. The Bruins win it. Takes control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Chrisman's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. The Flyers have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Knocked away. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Over the line they come. Takes a shot, misses over the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Boston's gained possession. Gish has got it in the defensive end. Picked up along the boards by Kamenev. Pass across to Taylor. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he slides it quickly to Black. Crane heads up play in the defensive zone. Stays with it. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. They fight for it along the boards. Philadelphia's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance. He scores. They make it another. They don't slow down. You get one, you get two. The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot and he beats him clean.
Philadelphia's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Mayers wins it in the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Couldn't connect on that pass. From the neutral zone now. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Handles the puck at the point. Whoa. Puts it into the back of the net, and it's a one goal game. All of a sudden, it seems believable that you can tie this up. You've still got some time. You're not aiming your deflection, you're just trying to change the direction of it. This beats the goalie because he can't catch up to the puck changing direction. The Bruins have got a big one here in the third now. Well, you gotta be careful that the clock melts away fast on you, but now they've got a chance. Boston's won the draw in the neutral zone. Scored by number Sends it in deep. By Philadelphia's looking to break out. Eight. Time of the goal. 16 Sends the pass over. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Paco. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. With some open space at center. Moves the puck. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Last minute of the play in the third. Manages to hang on. Puts it on net. Close save and he handles one it One goal ease. game. Can Philly close it out or does Boston have a comeback in them? Philadelphia has been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances and they lead it late in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Boston's got it in their own zone. Nice pass. Boston pulling the, the goalie, Bruins getting the extra really need a goal here. They pulled attacker the goalie and the there. Extra out. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. The Flyers Gunny looking for an outlet. In the zone. Maintains possession. The Bruins have it in Can't the get it out of the zone, zone though. Boston Here's gets it back. Shot. That goes wide. Boston's had as many chances as their opponents, but they trail because they've showed very little finish. In front. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Ten seconds Takes left. Boston's last point. chance. Freddie with a shot saved. A save. Covered up. Still seven seconds on the clock. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net, the face-off becomes critical. The centermen glide into position. The Flyers take possession off the face-off. Flyers off. get it. No quarter given Just looking here to kill the clock, and they will. And that's Flyers win, three to two over books. Boston. They get the win as a result of some good power play work. Great game to both teams, and great game to everybody chances. that's played today. It's simple math here. Played so they far had more today. opportunities, and they converted. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports. Get a look at these three stars here. Third star, Joaquim Alou, one goal, four hits. Second star from the Bruins, Brandon Maynard, one goal, two hits. And the first star... Eric West, one goal, one assist, three hits. We saw a lot of hitting in this game. Eric West got first start despite a minus one. That's some solid play right there.
All right, next up is going to be Calgary at Detroit. I was blind for a second there. If anybody's talking to me in the chat, I cannot see what you're saying right now. I will respond soon. Uh, for standard contain staggered large box overload. They want four blue to blue. Single swing and leave zone early. All right. Bear with me for a second. The my Discord is crapping out on me. I'm trying to get the second game plan here. There we go. we go fourth game of the night Calgary at Detroit let's get into it hi everybody welcome to hockey town here in Detroit Michigan along with Ray Ferraro I'm James Sabolski. Two teams pretty evenly matched here. Ray, any final thoughts? Well, I kind of laughed as I heard both benches here talk about, oh, we got to get the first goal. Well, somebody's not going to get it. That doesn't mean <laughs> the game's over. But I think it's really important to try and play the game at the pace you want to play. These two teams don't play the same style. forward to this one tonight here we go the Red Wings take possession here on the opening draw and we are underway quick pass to black <laughs> need to Let's speak with go. me about my oh, car's extended warranty on the one. play Adams plays it along the wall they've got numbers and the puck leaves the offensive zone they'll be forced to tag up the Red Wings gain possession along the wall the Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone what do you mean that's not your top line? Uh, freaking your first line and second line got switched by either your owner or your GM. The 
The first line and second line got swapped. I'm gonna let it play. If it's knocks the puck away in the open ice. Picked up below yeah, the your Harris. owner swapped that. The the swapped oh, first the and second lines. You'll have to, Sorry to cut in, Jim, ask Ani Escola about that. that. Be Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The flames carry it along the wall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes a shot. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The flames. Oh, all right. Let me go check the sheets. Because I edited these lines at five and they were all accurate. gonna have a little bit of an intermission here guys because I gotta check this now the line set to This is what showed on sheets earlier. I updated this at 5 p.m. I literally sat there with sheets directly in front of me when I updated this. I promise you I would not just make random combinations. I went off of sheets for everybody's lines. No, I didn't hit best lines. It made me wonder because when I saw it on sheets, I noticed that the lines went from best overall at the top to lowest overall at the bottom. So it it made me wonder, too, if you guys were just putting the top players on the top lines. I'm on, hold on, I'm checking the edit history. I'm trying to find what the problem was. Lysander. 
Periscope. All right. Let me get to the Calgary lines. I guess we'll restart this game and we will watch games until midnight. Is what what's on sheets right now accurate, or is it going to change again? Sautome, Fletcher, Cregan. Webster, Lysander.
button. Go right back in, make sure they're exactly what they're supposed to be. Sodomy, Fletcher, Drake, Webster, Lindsay. They say you're gonna lose your mind in Detroit Rock City. Well, here we are in Detroit, Michigan, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Wallstone's one of those guys who's an attraction selling tickets for this one, Ray. Dangerous offensive player. He can skate and shoot the puck. Any team would be lucky to have him. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Red Wings start with possession as we are now underway. across to Nash. Couldn't complete the play. The Flames get a hold of it. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck moved over to David. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And loses possession after a solid hit. Puck battle along the boards. Sends the pass down low. To the front! And puts it just wide! The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Sends it across, and they come up empty-handed. Right up front, here he is on the backhand. He scores! I don't think anybody's really settled into the 
game yet. Already we have the game's first goal. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Detroit's home fans are back right on their feet again. Man, they just sat down. Now get back up. Everybody here, sit back down, and maybe they can do it again. Harper's won the draw. Score by number Keeps hold of the puck. By Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. He scores! They tie it up! Well, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. If you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He one times that for a goal. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Detroit's got it along the wall. Big time stop. Cross had to be sharp. That shot from dead center. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. Grabbed along the boards by Stahl. Calgary's moving it up the ice. Fails to find the open man. Black's got the puck in his own zone. And now it's over to Harper. Can't find his man. Glove saved by the goalie. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a tie game. Applewhite's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Musa quickly over to Harris. Stinger's lugging the puck. Stays with him. Black's got it in the defensive zone. He carries the puck up along the wing. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Wide of the net. Not gonna get many better chances from that. Dead center, right in the slot. And now it's grabbed by Applewhite. And it's a quick pass to Anderson. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Detroit's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Black. Looking to set up offensively. have it from their own end. That's wide of the net. Bell's caught with the stick and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. The Red Wings will serve two minutes in the box. She can't have too much complaint about that, James. She wasn't moving her feet. She was behind the player and that's an easy call. Man advantage unit is set. Now the power play guys are hungry and over the boards quickly. This is their first power play tonight. Of course, it starts with a face-off in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. The Red Wings have it against the wall. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. Ryan's mugging of the player pretty cut and dry on this one, holding the call. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. I love how four-on-four -four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. Centering pass! Maybe a little too fine there, James. He's trying to make that a perfect shot. It's such a good chance at scoring a goal. So close on the play. The Red Wings have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Wallstone. Move to the middle. Answers the call with a big save. 
The Red Wings now have a short power play after the penalty expired and manages to clear the zone. Detroit's got it from behind the net. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Let's it go, and that one's turned away. Taken along the wall by O'Brien. Let's one go, no room for that one to get through. Big time hit against the boards. Tell me this, what would you rather take, against the wall or against the open ice? Oh no, I want it up against the wall, but you gotta get close. If you're a foot or two away, you bounce like a basketball. Big collision. Here's a chance, a two on one. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. Loose puck battle along the boards. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. The Flames take it along the wall. Detroit's grabbed a hold of the puck. Through center. Move to the middle. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Oh, a clutch save! Fleener's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. And that's just out of reach. The Flames will play it from the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Hangs onto the puck. Moves it to Applewhite. And they can't connect! Here's a chance! Oh. They score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Flames get a little breathing room here as they lead by one in the first. They talked about getting off to a good start in the first period. Now that they've got the lead, they'll want to build off it. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Grabs it with the glove. Time of the goal, 17 minutes, 44 seconds. Calgary's got the lead here late in this first period. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And they fail to go tape to tape. Quick feed to Harris. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he regains control of the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Strong defensive effort. Detroit's looking to break out of their own end. Cozen scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Shuts him down. There's the horn ending the first period. It went back and forth, and it's a close one here. Hey, fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund a children's playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. If you'd like to learn more or to donate, please visit our team website. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Official has made his way back to center ice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Calgary's been just about perfect so far. They've got the one goal lead. A lot of it is territorial control. They've got the majority of the shots. Here's an offensive chance. That's a good scoring chance, too, James, but that puck's got to get on the net. He just missed. Play continues here. Takes the feed from the wing. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Snaps it on net. Blocked in front. Handles the puck. Here's a short pass to David. 
Calgary's got it in their own zone. Wild Wings carrying it ahead. We got a penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. The Red Wings don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. You have to be able to make the hit, and you are, but you can't finish it like oh, this. Oh, that's a legit call. Calgary's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've had limited opportunities, but the power play coach now has to get into their ear and give them a little something that will help them crack through. Quick pass to Heinen, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Manages to hang on. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Moves it quickly over to Erickson. Couldn't make that one happen. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Feeds the puck over to Wild Wing. Oh, brutal open ice hit. He laid the shoulder in. It's a clean hit. There'll be no penalty. That's a devastating hit. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it over to Ryan. Excellent stick work on the play. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Flames gain possession along the wall. There's the whistle from referee Gilles Levesque and a penalty coming up that'll do it for the power play. Wild Wings gonna serve two for holding on this play. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. A little four on four coming up here. The game on almost every level has moved to a puck possession game. Really, really important four-on-four. Four. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. Way too much congestion blocks that. Scrum ensues along the boards. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. Grabs control of it at the point. Moves it to Erickson. Here's a chance in front. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. And the puck leaves the zone. The Red Wings scoop it up along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Let's it go from the slot. Comes up with the blocker save. Here's a chance. Misses over the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And a big kill keeps the one goal lead intact. We're back to even strength. Well, that's a missed opportunity, isn't it? A chance to tie. They don't cash in, and now we're back to five on five. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 2-1 game. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Quick feed to Nash. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The flame scheme control the puck against the wall. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. With the stop, the Red Wings look to start the transition game. Gutierrez carries the puck in his own zone. With possession along the wall. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. Sends it quickly to Wallstone. Takes the feed. Wallstone's got the puck. Here's a shot, and that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Well, whatever you gotta do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. From the left, here he is, in the open ice, on the breakaway! Nothing doing! Tried to make the perfect shot, doesn't execute it. On the attack along the boards. The Flames have it against the wall. That pass goes a little sideways. Quick feed to Anderson. Sends it over. Centering pass. He scores! What a shot! What a pass!
if you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Calgary's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And that's blocked. Big save. Cross has shown tremendous focus. He's got a great save percentage in this contest. And at the other end, his forwards are helping him out. Here's a short pass to Harris. Puck scooped up by Applewhite. Quick pass to Anderson. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Detroit's in transition. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot. Scores! And the Red Wings ignite the fans here! Be pretty hard to do this better than they did on the odd man rush. They move the puck, they move the defender out of the way, and then two passes and it's in the net. The Red Wings have narrowed the gap here late in this second period. Some momentum for them now. Now they want to close this period off well, get themselves into the third with a chance to get back into it. Scored by number seven. Dumps it into the Ozone. Scooped up along the wall by Esquivel. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. That pass doesn't go. Puck picked up by Ryan. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Picked up along the boards by Travis. Denied that one. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Red Wings take it across the line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Offside the call and we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the later stages of this period, Detroit's trailing by one. Stingers won the draw here in the neutral zone. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Calgary's won it. Puck grabbed by Kachuk. Directed over to Fleener. Takes a wrist shot. Stones him in front. Calgary's won the draw. Picked up along the wall by Bell. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Maintains possession. And that shot dies in traffic. Taken by Fleener. Second period nearly in the books here. Puck sent over to Hall. Takes the feed. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Cross elects for the breather and goes for the whistle. I like this play, James. He's seen enough chaos in front of him. Detroit's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Hall. Big play inside the defensive zone. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Open a savings account this month at Faybank and get access to team press conferences, practice, or locker room tours. Is absolutely Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Your team's proud exclusive banking partner. Third 
period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Here we go. Put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Moves it around along the half wall. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Wallstone stick handling in his own zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Gives them nothing in front. Cross elects to take a much needed break here for himself. For himself and for his team. He's had a busy night and had lots of pucks directed at him, but it is a night where he's been focused in and has done a great job. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Flames have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3 2. Moves it to Nash. Can't connect. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. You'll need more than that to beat him. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Pinned up along the boards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. Knocks the puck loose. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck across to Groot. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Wallstone's moving the puck through his own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Flames have it from their own end. Calgary's in now. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Nothing doing on that. Gutierrez picks up the puck. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. From the right side, they gain the zone. Detroit's playing it from the side. Oh, there's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. O'Brien's taking it from his own end. Stays with it. O'Brien's got it from behind his own net. They fight for it along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. O'Brien's got it in the defensive end. Rosehill's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the puck behind the net. Fires it off the outside of the iron and will play on. The Red Wings have been clawing and trying to get themselves back into the hockey game here. This shot hits the pipe and won't go in for them. Trying to get back on the attack now. And it's a quick pass to Black. Really liking the way that they're getting after the puck on the forecheck. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. And the puck's knocked loose. Looks to set up at the point now. Let's it fly. And he puts it wide. You have to get it on net here. You've got a great chance to score and you don't even test the goalie. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Detroit's looking to break out. Quick feed to Erickson. Here's a chance right in the slot, and that's blocked. Moves inside. Oh, what a save in front. Cross is going to take the opportunity for a whistle. He's been outstanding tonight, James. It doesn't seem to matter what shot has come at him. He's been able to handle it, and he's had plenty of work. We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Grabs the puck at center. Grabbed along the board by Harris. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Gaining momentum along the boards. It's a great way to protect the lead. Get it deep into the offensive zone and try and run around on the forecheck a little bit. Kill the clock when you can. Take it along the wall by Applewhite. 
jabs the puck away. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. The Flames have it now. Here's a short pass to Bell. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Across the line from center. Now a quick pass to Anderson. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The Red Wings move it in. Quick pass to Nash. Off the post and into the back of the net. Just a quarter of an inch keeps that puck out. and it's the post more directly, it stays out. As you're a shooter, that's a great sound. I can't imagine they thought this was even possible. They played so poorly early in the game. They've worked their way all the way back to tie the score. The Red Wings have tied things up late in this third. Really tense finish coming up. Now you don't have much time. It's a late goal and a win, or does it push to overtime? Puck scooped up by Steen. Fires it into the offensive zone. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Final minute to go here in the third. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Manages to hang on. Moves the puck behind the net. And now he moves it to Travis. Not able to connect. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Maintains possession. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he angles it across to Erickson. With some open space at center. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Flames have it against the wall. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. There's the horn to end period number three, still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Fans, your donations have made it possible for kids and me to see their heroes live from our tickets for kids' lunch. Overtime is just Thank moments away. Generosity. And we are just moments away from overtime. Sudden death overtime is underway. Hammers him into the boards. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. The Red Wings slide it through center. Takes the puck at the point. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice zone entry on the left side. Hangs onto the puck. Nice poke check. Here's a chance, and he misses. We're still tied. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Feeds the puck across to Black. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. Calgary's got it across the line. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Adams has it in the defensive end. The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Sends a pass over. Lays out with a block. Now can he get up? Oh! Strong defensive effort. And that puck leads the zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Really good defensive play. They're scrambling around here. They need a block. He lays down and does the job. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here.
This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. A chance for the win! Oh, we are still tied! What a stop! Mays does a really nice job here to get himself in front of the puck, keep his eyes locked on it, and make the stop. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Detroit's moving it along the wing. Centering pass for the win. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. Cross is able to take that scoring chance and shut it right down. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Flames win the draw. Bell's lugging the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. Detroit's got a hold of it against the wall. How did he stop that one? Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Ryan's won it off the face-off. Looking to end it, and he comes up with a huge save! Doesn't always have to look pretty. He stopped a chunk of the puck, and that chunk was just big enough to stay out of the net. The centermen glide into position. Harper's won the draw. Let's it go! Oh! Too much air on that one. He's trying to shoot that right next to the goalie's ears. Get it up top, but he shoots it too high. Feeds the puck to Ryan. Into the offensive end now. And he regains control of the puck. Here he is in front. Comes up with the stop. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Stays with it. They go on the attack from the left side. Let's it fly! Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance! Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Red Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Stinger's got the puck along the wing. Calgary's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Scrum along the boards. Pass to Erickson. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And now it's grabbed by Applewhite. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Centering pass. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Right up the gut, here they go. And now he tries to get it across to Applewhite. Baze is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Harris doesn't take anything off this. He throws a huge hit up against the board. A critical draw here. The Flames take possession off the faceoff. Stopped by the goaltender. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Moves it quickly over to Wild Wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. 
Dishes it to Fleener. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves it to group. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. Battling for it along the boards. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Makes the glove stop. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that. But he snares that attempt. Colson's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Detroit's got possession here in their own end. Cozen's got the puck in his own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Red Wings played along the boards. A chance to win it, and he keeps it alive! What a stop! A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Detroit's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Misses over the net. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Taken by Ryan. Here they are on the attack. Makes his presence known on the ice. Quick feed to Ryan. Stopped by the goaltender. We'll get another look at that hit. Well, look at that big hit again. Momentum changes when a play happens like that. Right there. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Flames win the draw. Wrist shot from the slot. Off target. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. And they can't convert to the play. Travis has the puck against the half wall. Battle along the boards. Strong defensive effort. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Calgary's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Knocked away. Comes out to play the puck. Heinen's got it behind his own net. Keeps hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Esquivel. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Drives to the sweet spot. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Red Wings going to work on offense. For the win! Over the net! Picked up along the wall by Bell. He carries the puck up along the wing. Travis plays it against the boards. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Wrist shot from the slot. And that'll do it for the overtime frame. Both sides with opportunities, but still nothing settled, so we'll play on. Stay warm and stylish in the ring with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team We'll get the ice cleaned up and get ready for the next overtime period in moments. Supplies are limited. Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. We've got our overtime picks in. Have you got yours? Because they're ready to drop the puck. Sudden death overtime. And it rolls on here now. Excellent stick work on the play. Receives the pass. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Overtime winner! They score! frame always an unbelievable feeling to score an overtime goal you score and you feel that you've just ended it it's so so cool to do now the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him as soon as the shooter went to shoot it the goaltender dropped into the butterfly he's looking around that traffic hoping he can find it 
Well, a fun night here to call this one, and the fun ain't done just yet. No, they go back and salute the fans, and I'll tell you, when you're playing, you notice when it's great, you notice when it's not great. That was a great night. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us. One away from 10 hits in a game. So close. So close. Double overtime, such a hard fought game. Next game up is going to be the Golden Knights at the Calgary Flames. If my Discord ever loads, I would post the alert. Sorry, I stopped commentating on that one. It was getting a little nerve-wracking. Didn't want to show my bias in the commentating. game of the night coming up sorry about these games being so late guys I had to work pretty late today and couldn't run them at the normal 5 p.m.
let's get into game number five. Sabalski, well, they're hoping to bring the Red Mile alive again here in Calgary tonight. I don't know if I'd go so far as saying it's a Wild West showdown, but the West is certainly tough. There's not been much room between the teams for quite some time, and these points are critical. You're in the same conference, you're fighting over the same points as you try to work into playoff position. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. And I will not forget this time. Definitely not. I won't waste a minute of everybody's time forgetting like last time. Who me? I'd never do that. Here we go. The Golden Knights start with possession as we are now underway. Takes a shot. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. He scores! They're on the board early in well, this one. that was one. quick. Yeah, it looks like one team came ready to play. The other one's still feeling their way in. Well, they'll feel their way now. They're down one. He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. talked about wanting to take the home crowd out of it. Mission accomplished early. People aren't even in their seats yet, James, and it's one nothing for the road team. Four. All right, there we go. Everything else is good, right? Wait, am I on the right team? This looks like. Fuck. That's my bad. I must have pressed the wrong teams. Aggressive blue four. My apologies. I must have pressed the wrong team's game plan. Or no? Did I? Or did it change it when it got in? I don't know. A lot of the stuff was right. I must have just been wrong on a couple of the things. Alright, let me double check Vegas's, make sure I didn't screw up both. I'm sorry guys. It's been a rough night for me. Trying to get it all right for you guys. Vegas is right. Oh, I see what I did. I put no. I must have clicked on the wrong teams or some. I don't. What the hell? Why is so much stuff? I've set this all. Large box overload. Good. 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 That doesn't make sense. Unless it changes the game plans like part way through. Knights 
Calgary's got it along the wall. Great chance in front. Can connect. And now it's over to Adams. Takes the pass. Shot. Makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Groot. The Flames work it around near the back end. Works it across to Linden. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Vegas takes possession along the wall. Moves right to the middle. Quick shot and makes the save. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Here's a chance behind the net. On the doorstep. Scores! That's back-to-back, -back, Ray. Well, it, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. That turned ugly in a hurry. That turnover just can't happen. And when it does, the goalie's not in position to make a save. It beats him up over the gloves. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Golden Knights have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Calgary's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Slides the puck over. Turns it away. Michael's going to cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Vegas has possession of it now. Manages to hang on. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Travis. Puck picked up by Duff. And now he moves it quickly to Devil. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Ryan. With the puck inside the defensive zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. His reflexes on display tonight. More than half the period left to play. 2-0 is the score. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Maintains possession. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Steen stick handling in his own zone. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's blocked. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Moves the puck to Cronwall. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Cronwall. Denies him in front. Smothered that in close chance. All smart heads up play to put that one away. Puck grab by Trucker. That's blocked. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Right to the middle. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Quick pass to Trucker. Puck scooped up by Harris. Couldn't complete the play. Vegas has it near the wall. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Vegas has it behind the cage. The Golden Knights move it ahead. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Let's see what the officials say. The Flames have been handed two minutes for hooking. Well, when you stop your feet, you're almost advertising to the official to keep looking. There's the hook. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. You can set a special team trend if your first power play is a positive one. Get some shots, get some pressure. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. Moves it quickly over to Flurry. Another stop by the goaltender. Gains the zone from the right. Vegas gets the puck near the boards. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Hang
hangs on to the puck. Good use of the body on the play. And he regains control of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Bell. Smart defensive play there. Stays with it. Jabs the puck away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nice poke check. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to Akers. And that's blocked. That goes off the stick. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Cross takes that scoring chance and sticks it away. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. And it's a 2-0 hockey game. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. <clears throat> Taken by Anderson. Look out, a two-on-one. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. And a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. Well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Quick pass over to Esquivel. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Here's an odd man rush. Slides it across. And that banks off a stick. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. The Golden Knights take over on possession. Down the right side and into the zone. Erkgarth takes it inside his own end. Puck picked up by Esquivel. From the blue line, they take control of it. The Golden Knights have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Golden Knights will play it against the wall. Calgary's gained possession along the boards and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Vegas looks to attack. Devils hauled down, penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Flames are gonna be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. Vegas is set to go back to work on the power play. James, I think they've got to work a little harder to get inside the circles here, get in front of the goalie's vision. The Golden Knights win it. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Here in the late goings of the period, 2-0 is where we sit. Vegas takes possession off the faceoff. Quick feed to Linden. The Flames get a hold of the puck undermanned. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Stahl. Couldn't connect on that pass. The Golden Knights gain possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And Jeez. that shot goes nowhere as the lane was Vegas thrown. offense is looking lethal in this period. It looked lethal against us too, not gonna lie. Vegas is a great team. The Golden team. Knights lead it here late this first period. Not taking away from Calgary at all, just applauding Vegas. They've had a great night. Horn sounds and that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. The Golden Knights skate off with a 2-0 lead after the first 20, and based on their body language, I don't think they subscribe to the theory that the two-goal lead is the most dangerous in hockey. Being a fan pays big dividends with Home Points, our exclusive fan loyalty program. Download our free app today and start earning... Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. ...points for attending tonight's game. Second period getting underway. Vegas leading 2-0 right now. Vegas also on a power play. Period number two is about to go. 
Calgary's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Fires You're it right into the offensive the goal, zone. Just Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Akers. To his teammate! And that's broken up. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Golden Knights don't have time on their side with this power play running out. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. A shot, and he makes the save. The Flames will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. The Golden Knights can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And there's the whistle. Let's hear the official call. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck, you get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. And their first chance to use the man advantage. I always felt on the power play, the first one was really important for any team. If you stumble around on the first power play, guys start to press as you get more and more of them through the game. And he takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. The Golden Knights have possession shorthanded. And they move the puck out of harm's way. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes it to the net. Too many bodies in the way. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. They clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Quick pass to Esquivel. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Britt. Puck clears the zone. Calgary's got to hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Wild Wing. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a chance and another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. As we get a look at this again, you can see he just gets Calgary off of getting puck the chances. They're just having the problems the every other team has. They Vegas has been the better offense. Having trouble getting it past the Twins. Lead here in this second period. Puck grabbed by Heinen. There's a shot, and that one stopped. That's a solid hit. Grabs the puck here in their own Damn, end. Damn, that was a brutal they hit. They get it out of the defensive end. The Flames have it now. Vegas finally gets their man back out on the ice. We're back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating. But as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're going to score. Slides it quickly to Heinen. Here's a chance. Couldn't find the intended Ooh. target. Michael's going to Good chance there for Calgary, but the they whistle. got muscled off well, and got in front. The play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. <laughs> That's not a very clean stop, but it turns out to be a good one. He got a lot on the puck, just enough to keep it out. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Golden Knights lead this one to zip. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Picked up along the boards by Britt. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. Battling for it along the boards. Strong defensive effort. The Golden Knights have it against the wall. Picked up along the wall by Esquivel. Vegas gains a hold of possession. Moves the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Flames gain possession in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Groot. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Excellent stick work on the play. Puck scooped up by Britt. Blaine's taking it from his own end. Moves it to Duncan. To the front. Breaks up the play with a poke check. Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if the goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck.
The Golden Knights are up big, but they don't look comfortable out there. No, it's like they're nervous that there might be a little bit of pushback from the opponents, although I gotta tell you, after watching this game to this point, I don't see it. Scored by number 27. Maintains possession. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Rister, and that shot gets caught in traffic. Taken by Groot. Here's an offensive chance. He was locked in there. Michaels had a relative. They score! That's something. It is, and now you can build on it. I mean, prior to that, James, what were they going to build on? Nothing. They were out of the game. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly, the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. The Flames seem to have shaken off that funk here, Ray. They had to get going a lot better than they had earlier in this contest, now down by two. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number six. Sent into the offensive zone. Scoops up the puck here. By number four. The Golden Knights slide it through center. Well, that'll get a response. They're gonna go. Yeah, he's not gonna have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy, and now he's gonna have to drop the mitts and answer for it. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. All right, boys, that's enough. Over to the penalty box and go sit down. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. Puck picked up by Travis, and now he moves it to Applewhite. The Golden Knights gain control of it. The Flames get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Anderson's gonna play it against the half wall. Wrist shot from the slot, misses high. Oh, get it on the net, man. He's trying to be too perfect for that. Sometimes you get it on the net, it'll go right through the goalie. Through center along the wing. They've got numbers. Big play inside the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Kachuk. Let's it go with the stop. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. Michael's made a number of great stops tonight. Here's another one. This is a three-on-one. Everybody's feet on the ice, it looks like, but he stands tall to make the save. The Golden Knights have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Scrum along the boards. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot, gets in front of it, and that's broken up. He gets that one too. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Croft holds his position really well here. He's able to make the stop. That's a good scoring chance that he snuffs out. Getting into the later stages of this period, Vegas has a 3-1 lead, and their fans who made it down for this one are loving it. Taken along the wall by Esquivel. Scoops up the puck now. Stays with it. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Scrum ensues along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Heinen. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. The Flames take it along the wall. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Vegas on the attack. Misses high. That feels like a wasted opportunity. You got to get it on target. Might have skipped up on him right before he let it go. Stop that one.
The Golden Knights continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Clock has dropped and we are back underway. One minute left. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Quick feed to Cronwall. And there's the save. Wild Wings got it in the defensive end. Pokes the puck away. There he is. He's got a step. And can't convert. Can't convert, James. He doesn't even get a shot. He might as well dump it in the corner and keep the forecheck going. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you could win red side tickets to an upcoming game. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Flames haven't tested that goaltender really much at all. A low number of shots means very few scoring chances. They're lucky this game is close. Lots of time left in this period. The Golden Knights have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Regains control here in the neutral zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here he is, shot right in front. Can't get it to go. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Jabs the puck away. The Flames played along the wing. A chance in front! Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Britt's got it across the line. Hangs onto the puck. Here's the pass! And they can't connect with the steal. Moves it up. Trying to get back on the attack now. Turn that one aside. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Michael's always been able to make the difficult save. He makes one here on that wrist shot scoring chance. Vegas has been the more complete team tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Denied by the goaltender. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Quick feed down low. And now it's grabbed by Akers. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puck dumped in. Here's a chance to set up now. Picked up along the boards by Esquivel. Here they come on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Vegas tries to break out from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. The Golden Knights look to start the transition game. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Slides it back to the blue line. Stops him cold. Now he takes it over the line. Nice poke check. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Michael's had to be sharp as this game is staying tight. He makes a good save there. Vegas, players were saying earlier this morning that they wanted to create more offense. They have done just that, and they lead here in the third. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. 
Now into the offensive zone from the right side. No one home on that play. Applewhite's got it along the boards. Off the glove and the puck skips away. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Golden Knights are up 3-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that one's broken up, great block there. Loose puck battle along the boards. Here's a short pass to Anderson. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Cronwell swooping in on the attack. Into the corner now. Great save from in tight. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Big stop by the keeper. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Heinen's moving it ahead. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Golden Knights scoop it up along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Flames have it from their own end. Keeps hold of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Groot. Picked up along the wall by Flurry. Vegas has it near the wall. Here he is from the slot. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Calgary's got it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Applewhite. Takes the shot, and that one's turned away. Grabbed along the board by Groot. Calgary's got it near the point. Huge steal in his own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Let's the wrister go. Big save. Moved into the middle. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Vegas gets the puck near the boards and makes the save. The Flames take it along the wall. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Flurry's picking up steam. Nearing the final minute of the third. Stopped by the blocker. Sharp reaction save. Nice pass. Oh, and a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Puts it on goal. Comes up with the stop. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as his faceoff looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the faceoff win for a quick shot. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great defensive effort with the stick. And misses over the net! Calgary's night has been summed up right there. A missed chance here late in the third period. They've only got themselves to blame. Taken along the wall by Groot. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Golden Knights grab possession to the puck. Takes the feed. Quick pass, fires into the empty net. Into the empty net. Great hustle to finally ice this one. Well, you worked so hard defending the lead. Now if the puck bounces for you, it sure is nice to put it away. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. Vegas has been all over them right from puck drop, and they lead it big time late in this third period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Manages to hang on. Pokes it away in his own end. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Every once in a while, everything comes together for a complete victory, and I felt that's what happened tonight. They had the puck, they shot the puck, they got it back, they shot it again. Really a dominating performance. You know, I know people like to point the finger at goaltenders when they give up lots of goals, but in this case, it's hard to blame him with the amount of offense that he was seeing there. Well, there's no way he's going to be able to hold the door shut. That was domination. 
In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night. Hi everybody, welcome to the Sunshine State here in Sunrise. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabolski. Two teams that can skate, a lot of pace that we should expect for this one. Any other thoughts on your mind? Well, I don't think much is gonna spread through the game, so it'll be interesting to watch who makes an in-game adjustment, who flips their lines around, who finds a matchup that they can exploit. That might be the difference tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Panthers take possession here on the...
big draw, and we are underway. Franco's got the puck. Right in the slot. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Centered out in front. Here's a shot. Stones him in front. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Pokes the puck away. Grabs it in his own end. Florida's got it along the wall. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Felix. Whoa! Scores! Quick blast! No chance! The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Panthers deliver early with an opening goal here at home. I love the way that they were able to get themselves into the game quickly, play at the pace they want to, and capitalize on that chance. Florida's got the puck in their own end. Outlaw's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Florida's got it behind the net. Pass it up ahead. What a great pass that is. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Into the offensive end now. Excellent stick work on the play. Stone's simply going to slow it down here. Ray, do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. The Panthers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Takes a shot with the stop. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gish. Can't catch up to the pass. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Solid check to slow him down. Maintains possession. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck slid down the ice. Slides it over with pace to Bear. Here he is, wristed on net. Nothing doing. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. It's pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Stone's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Panthers have taken a 1-0 lead. Lewis wins the draw on their own end. Florida's in transition. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a chance, and that goes off a player. Lewis has got it along the wall. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. 
shoots it, and that goes off a player in front. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Fredheim's carrying it ahead. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Stays with it. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Puck grabbed by Eller. Comes up with the stop. The Bruins have it against the wall. Boston sliding the puck behind the net. Coughs it up on the play. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Denies him on the play. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins are on the attack. Let's the wrister fly. Gives them nothing in front. Denies him again. Pinned up along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Florida's playing it through the neutral zone. Here they are on the attack. Let's it go. Blocked in traffic. The Bruins take it along the wing. And that pass goes awry. Hangs onto the puck. Florida's got it in their own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Soderberg. Centering pass. Oh, and that goes wide. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Stone's teammates are going to be thrilled with that stop. That's a tough test on the wrister. Here in the late going of the frame, one nothing is where we sit at this point. Florida's won the draw and they'll go to work. Here's a shot. He usually hits the net from this spot. He's going to be disappointed with that. Game of inches here. They fight for it along the boards. Boston's looking to break out. Over the line they come. And he regains control of the puck. Manages to hang on. Puts it up front. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Florida's got it in their own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Tyler's got it in the offensive zone. Soderbergh's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Regan's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Are you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. the conclusion of period number one. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. 
The Bruins win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Loose puck battle along the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Puts it in, and it's a short-handed goal! I wasn't expecting that, James. It didn't seem like they were going to be aggressive enough to get it, but there's a turnover and a quick play, and the short-handed goal is in. I got one short-handed goal in about 1,400 games. That's because I came out of the penalty box, and the puck bounced over the defenseman's stick. Not like this. This guy's actually killing a penalty. The Bruins didn't draw first blood, but they have even the score here early in the middle frame. Yeah, nice claw back to get themselves to even par. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Maintains possession. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass at center. Cuts to the paint. Tyler's working it around in the corner. Handles it along the blue line. Black's moving the puck through his own zone. The Bruins take it across the blue line. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. What a steal in his own end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. The Panthers played along the boards. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Takes the feed from his own end. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Break away. Oh, misses the net. Oh, man, he's got to get it on the net. The thing's been in the same place for 100 years. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Florida's got it, and they're on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Mills. Wrestling in close, and that goes wide. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Black's going to get two for hooking on the play. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve <laughs> his minor penalty. Power play unit going back to work. Really tough to win when your power play's negative on the night. They gave up that shorthanded goal earlier, James. They got to get it back here. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Makes a move in front. Jabs the puck away. A chance to get it out. And they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Tries to feed it over to Felix. He's got a step. Great save. Oh, I thought he was going to beat him, but the goalie comes up large. Here he is in front. Denies him. Outlaw Sharp to make that stop. He scores, and the deadlock's been broken. Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. Bang, bang, play. The goalie's got no chance. When you're in that close and you get the chance to one-time it, you're likely going to score unless you hit the goalie. The Panthers have built themselves a one-goal lead here in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They'd like to take control of the game if they can. They now have the one-goal margin, but they want to stretch it out. They've got numbers. Couldn't make that one happen. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Stone's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Panthers are looking to build on this one goal lead. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. The Panthers have it now. Moves it to Eller. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. 
scrum ensues along the boards. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. And he's ridden off the puck. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Florida's on the attack. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a chance right out in front. Routine pad save made by Stone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Stone's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Regan's got it in the defensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. The Bruins will play it against the wall. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Passes right to the front. And he easily stops that one. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Florida's moving it into the offensive end. Nice poke check. Boston's moving it along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. All alone! Bears gonna play it against the half wall. Can't convert! Oh, he's trying to be too fine maybe there. He's trying to get this right into the corner, misses the net. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Dumps it in. Florida's grabbed a hold of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Centering pass, and that one's broken up. Black's gaining momentum. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Turns it aside with a glove. More than half the period has expired. The Panthers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Flips it up the net. Stopped by the goaltender. From behind the net. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Sends a pass over. Taylor's got it on the offensive end. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Boston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Stays with it. Quick feed to Black. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, just wide! Receives the pass. Back at the point, they set it up. Can't connect. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Here's a short pass to Hello! All tied up on the goal! Really good play to score and to get this game back to even. Now we'll see who can grab momentum. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Boston's given themselves some positive vibes to go into the dressing room into after this period as they have evened things up here late. To go into the third period even would be a victory here for them. Slides the puck across to Blades. Along the right side into the offensive zone. The Bruins have it from their own end. Angles it over to Fredheim. 
The Panthers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Blades. Here's the shot, and that's blocked away. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Nothing doing on that. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. And now it's over to Tyler. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. Hangs on to the puck. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Now a quick pass to Bear. The Panthers played along the wing. Right up front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Taylor's stick handling in his own zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Your boy Ovens got it along the wing. The Panthers gain control of the puck against the wall. Taken by Felix. And now he moves it quickly to low. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Sends it across. And they can't convert to the play. Grabs the puck. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it. And then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Turns it away. Outlaw's going to hang on just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Fredheim's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Green. Couldn't complete the play. And he regains control of the puck. The Panthers take it along the wall. Pumps it away in his own end. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Moves it to Fredheim. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Quick feed to Black. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Picked up along the boards by Eller. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Tyler. Oh, what a save in front! Puck picked up by Eller. Gaining momentum up along the side. Quick pass to Lewis. Outlaws got it against the boards. Shot! Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Oh, what a crushing goal to give up, but the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. He's playing the percentages, drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly.
The Panthers have gone ahead here in this third period. You see the finish line, Ray. What's the strategy now? Well, I don't think it's just to defend. I think you put your work boots on and try and grind the game down in their end of the ice. Dumps it in. Moves the puck behind the net. Knocked away. From the back of the cage with the puck. Battling for it along the boards. Strong defensive effort. The Bruins have it against the wall. Move to the middle. Here he is in close. Blocked. Oh, he got it away quickly. The puck just doesn't get to the net. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Hendry. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Moves it to the offensive zone. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Moves it quickly over to Mayers. Makes the save. Manages to hang on. They fight for it along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot. Sacrifices the body. Boston's ready to go on the attack. And makes the save. Stone's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Boston's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Florida's moving it up the ice. Takes the feed from the left side. Boston's got the puck now. Maintains possession. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Centering pass in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. At center, takes the pass. And a penalty Ooh, is coming up as the key play Key penalty is here at here. the end. Boston needs to capitalize here to equalize. Be short because of a tripping call. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. ACPU. Tripped up Bad the tripping penalty. The Bruins with an all-important power play opportunity here. They've been running around trying to get this game tied up. They earn a power play, and now they'll have that chance. Quick puck movement always seems to work best for them. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Good clear there from clear. Florida. And the goalie leaves his crease to play the puck. That's all they need to do here, kill the clock, kill the now. clock, and they win this game. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Sends it over. Oh, just huge poke check the there play. from the defense, and puck Florida clears it out again. Zone. Your boy Ovens got it now deep inside his own end. Steps inside the line. Slides it across. And that's oh. broken up with a stick in front. Florida defense just being puck clutch in front of the net. Looking to break out here on the power play. Picking up some uh, You can choose to go full screen, and that'll make the chat the go away the usually. Lets it go, oh, and he comes up huge with it. shot. And it's cleared again. And a nice job Might and get one on more one. rush, yeah, but they're going to need to hurry on the, on the power play. Boston's got it in the offensive zone. Three on two, and looking for the pass, even strength, and the shot the goes wide, covered by Stone. One tight. Stone's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Oh, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. The Bruins are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Even Boston's strength got to think Boston's going to pull their goal. Takes it to the front. And it looks like hooking is going to oh, be Oh, penalty coming against Boston, too. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Taylor's going off for hooking. Going shorthanded. You don't move your feet. Unless they can now get a miracle, that's going to do it for Boston around. in this one. He's in the box. Rightly so. To any Panthers fans watching in attendance, a win here would put Florida in sole possession the of first Panthers place of the standings. Send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. Under a minute to go in the third. And that's broken off. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Trying to get back on the attack now. 
Bruins pulling their goalie. Going to try and get an even strength empty netter here. Blades up ahead to Beamer, but he misses the wide open net. The Bruins will kill off a few extra Bruins seconds gonna bring now. it back down now. And it's a quick pass to Blades. 25 seconds left. Ace Blade with it. Referees Turns it over and he trips somebody. It's a five on three with 20 seconds left. The Bruins have no chance. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. Horrible penalties kill the Bruins. Let him go before you take the penalty. The officials making him pay for it. Wow. What a way to lose. Can't even pull the goalie at this point. You just accept the defeat the here. Two minutes for Time to the penalty. 19 minutes right that they're going to do it. They're pulling their goalie in a five on three. Gulch with a chance, but he gets hit. Florida with it. Grizzly Bear looking for an easy goal, but he gets knocked off of it. Grabs it again, and it trickles in. Florida with two seconds left on the clock. Gets the empty netter. No doubt anymore. Grizzly Bear from CJ Beamer and Jay Eller, oh, the put away goal. A couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Got to be a record right there for slowest the goal scored the in the Great One Hockey League. Seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponents pull the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires. And That'll do it. it Final game and of the night is won by the Florida Panthers. Four to two. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Long night of games. I do apologize for them being so late, running so late. Part of that's on me. Part of it is just our, uh, our schedules, yeah, how the they run. The but we did get a great building. night of games. The fans are the Saw a lot of goals. It's a, cool vibe. For Ray Ferraro, a lot of big I'm hits. Samalski. Saw a fight. For us Got to see a fight, which I don't think we saw in, in day one. Great games to everybody. All right, here we go with the three stars. Third star, Leighton Lee, one goal, one hit. Second star, Austin Phoenix, one goal, one assist. And the first star, Outlaw Owens, one goal, two assists, one hit. Four hits from C.J. Beamer, the forward, not too shabby. All right, that's going to do it. Everybody have a great night.